Since the reign of Henry VIII, the Cornish pasty has provided a satisfying and convenient meal and has become part of the county's culinary heritage. However, it's over the last 200 years that it has really come to represent Cornwall. Originally created to provide a simple and hearty meal for workers in the fields, the Cornish pasty also provided the perfect meal for tin miners in Cornwall. It was ideal for the miners as it was easy to carry. They would hold the pasty by its crimped edge to make sure their dusty hands didn't spoil their meal, and the enclosed pastry case insulated the food inside, keeping it fresh and moist. Today, the Cornish pasty has become one of the most popular convenience foods enjoyed by many people around the world. However, even with its widespread popularity, the pasty remains an important part of Cornwall's culinary heritage and even today represents the county. Cornish pasties are still made at home by people who enjoy cooking, but there's also a huge industry which has grown to satisfy the nation's appetite for pasties. Today, pasties are made in small and large bakeries and state-of-the-art factories, and then distributed to a wide variety of locations, from corner shops to supermarkets, cafes and railway stations. It's never hard to find a Cornish pasty. Having baked millions of pasties over the past 28 years, winning countless national awards on the way, Elaine Ede is the perfect person to show us how to make a genuine Cornish pasty. Start with your pastry, that's the most important thing. You need a pastry that is going to contain and hold all these vegetables and meat without bursting open. Your main ingredients are potatoes, onions, turnip, or we call it sweet in Cornwall, and meat. Now, I would always use a skirt, which is a good quality meat, and it'll cook at the same time and temperature as the rest of the vegetables. First of all, we put layers inside potato and some turnips, onions, meat. Now it's got to be a nice spicy flavour to it. So don't be afraid to put a good helping of salt and pepper onto your pasty. Now this is the magic bit, this is the crimp that they call it and it's just a matter of curling it around like that. It's what the tin miners used to eat their pasty with to stop all the arsenic and all the poisons getting into their system. And that little bit used to be thrown away. So there we go. Two Cornish pasties for lunch. The passion and pride shown by Cornwall's pasty makers is also shared by the people who farm and produce the ingredients which go into every genuine Cornish pasty. I'm Jeremy Oti. I'm a Cornish farmer and I've been producing pasty ingredients for 20 years. Well, the Cornish pasty industry is very important to uh, local farmers. Cornwall with its climate is ideally suited to growing the uh, main ingredients, potatoes and swede, uh, and also onions. We grow the crops on the farm and they're then taken and washed, peeled and prepared before going to the manufacturers to be made into pasties. Our business is very dependent on the Cornish pasty industry. This gives us an opportunity to sell our vegetables locally and reduce food miles in the process. In 2002, several Cornish pasty makers joined together to form the Cornish Pasty Association. By applying for unique European protected status, the CPA is hoping to protect the quality and the reputation of a genuine Cornish pasty. If the application is successful, it will guarantee that every pasty sold as a Cornish pasty will have to be made in the county to a traditional recipe, making the key ingredient Cornwall. The best Cornish pasties are on a beach after a surf. I think to make the best Cornish pasty it has to be made in Cornwall and I think it needs to follow a traditional Cornish recipe. Cornish pasty should be made of healthy ingredients, fill you up and most of all if it ain't made in Cornwall it ain't Cornish. I think it's very important to protect the Cornish pasty. After all, it is its home, it is an iconic product, and it is protecting our food heritage. It has to be made in Cornwall. It has to abide the rules again by using these fresh products. And really, once you've eaten a Cornish pasty, there's no other, is there? <laughs>